All right, today, leaders in the low country uh, filed a lawsuit fighting offshore drilling, specifically fighting the testing of offshore drilling. The federal government issued permits that allow the seismic blasting with air guns along the eastern coast to see if uh, there is, in fact, oil or gas beneath the ocean floor. If we go to some video here, you'll see that uh, earlier today, they gathered in Charleston where that federal lawsuit was filed. This is in Beaufort where leaders from Hilton Head, Port Royal, and... Hilton had fought that, that permit that allows them to test for gas. Now, several national, state, and local leaders in the Lowcountry are supporting this lawsuit together. They say the seismic blasting disrupts marine life. Newly elected 1st District Congressman Joe Cunningham in South Carolina has vi vowed to fight offshore drilling. Today's city leaders, as I said, in Beaufort, Hilton Head, and Port Royal voiced their support of this lawsuit and vowed to fight as well against the drilling. They say they, are waste they were waiting months for these permits to be issued so they could take action. Finally, last week, they filed them, and we were ready to go to court. I would say that of the 16 mayors, we will do anything and everything it takes to stop this. I'm here to convey the strong sentiments and con condemnation of the offshore drilling off our shores. The Congressman Buddy Carter, who represents coastal Georgia, disputes their facts. He says previous administrations agreed that seismic testing did not disrupt marine life. He supports the exploration for oil or gas beneath the ocean floor. He has not taken a stance against or for offshore drilling. Take a listen. If we do the exploration, then we find out. If there's something out there, then, you know, we cross that bridge when we get to it as to whether we act on it or not. But to at least not know and have an inventory of what is out there, I think, is, is irresponsible. Well, the congressman says we're still years, maybe even decades, from possible offshore drilling and how long the permit process would actually take.